previously we've had uh, automation around incoming server offline tickets. Um, we give our uh, we give our support our support desk uh, a 30 minute grace period to handle offline server tickets before we issue notifications in the Microsoft Teams uh, to get like immediate hands on. So this process was previously handled by a PowerShell script that was running on one of our internal servers and just uh, it was a scheduled task and I think it was like every five minutes it was checking to manage API for server offline tickets. So I rebuilt it uh, in Roost and this workflow has a uh, um, uh, has a trigger that listens for ConnectWise managed tickets that are saved. Um, that have a summary starting with LT offline servers. And once a, once a ticket like that gets saved, it comes in and then the, the callback data that gets posted to Roost doesn't have um, all the information that I need because I need to, uh, I also need to get some information out of some custom fields. So I get the actual ticket um, out of the manage API. I get any notes associated with the ticket. Um, and then I look to see if like when I got the ticket that I actually get one or not. Um, I'm sorry, uh, when, then I, I see if the ticket was actually added or updated. Um, and if it was at, added, I come down this branch here, um, just doing a couple checks, checking to see if it's already been notified and whatnot. And then we hit my 30 minutes elapsed grace period. Um, there's some stuff in here that I'll talk about in a bit that I haven't gotten around to doing, but after the 30 minutes has passed, if the ticket status is still the same, um, I go ahead and I construct an adaptive card uh, out of JSON uh, in Jinja. And this has all the information about the server offline ticket in it. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking this adaptive card and I'm posting, I'm feeding it into a sub workflow that I have up here, which interacts with a chat bot that I built for Microsoft Teams. Um, it's got an API in its back end. So I've got I've got two routes in the API right now, one to send a, uh, send a card and one to update a card in place. Um, so it'll come through here, and if it's a new server offline ticket that hasn't been handled for 30 minutes, it'll post a new card to our like main Teams channel for everyone to see. And after it does that, it uh, it returns the chatbot after it sends the adaptive card, it gets an activity ID back. And I associate that activity ID with the ticket itself. Uh, that way on subsequent ticket updates, I can update that adaptive card in place. Um, the mapping is there. So that's the, the for, for when a ticket is added. And then when a ticket is updated, I come through here. Uh, I check to see if the ticket has that activity ID uh, from when the card was originally posted. And then I check what status the ticket is in. And based on the status it's in, I construct either a yellow card or a red card, uh, adaptive cards with different formatting um, before feeding them back into that same workflow, but with an activity ID attached. And in my, in my sub workflow, I'm, I'm doing some logic, of course, to see if that activity ID is there or not and update if it is post a new one if it isn't. Um, so to kind of show what this looks like, I've actually got a test ticket right here ready to go. So if I save this ticket, and we'll see that it's got my LT offline servers summary up here. We're gonna save it. And I adjusted my grace period down to five seconds for this demo. So it should show up here in just a brief moment. And there's a there's the adaptive card that gets posted into Teams, and we can see in this adaptive card, I got this red text here indicating that a ticket hasn't been addressed for over 30 minutes. Um, we can also click this button to see like the actual ticket notes from Manage, and then we also have a button here to open the ticket directly in Manage. And so now, when somebody actually does handle this ticket, they you know, let's come in here and add a couple notes like. Uh, handling. Oh, and we'll just put that in internal. Now, if I take the status here and change it to in progress and save the ticket, uh, this is going to kick off again. 
another five seconds or so. And we can see that the adaptive card updates in place and it now reflects that the ticket is being addressed and we can see my updated notes. Um, I was really particularly proud of this ticket notes section because uh, uh, in, in the Jinja, I did some math in there uh, to shift the notes to the left or to the right every other note to make it a bit more readable uh, for people in the future. And then finally, once the ticket resolves, save it in here. Again, take about 10 seconds. Um, the adaptive card is going to update again, and it'll be green indicating that the ticket has been resolved. But the uh, the big benefit was that for this was, you know, we, we'll have we'll have server we'll have servers go offline at you know one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, and they'll generate tickets, and those tickets aren't addressed, and they'll generate notifications in Teams when nobody's awake to handle them. Um, so this really helps for first thing in the morning, our techs can come in and they can see that all these servers went offline, but then they can also see without having to investigate every single one that, you know, these have been, these have resolved themselves and there's nothing more to do. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my workflow. Um, I think the, the sending notifications through the chat bot is like the ideal way to get notifications into teams compared to like using webhooks in every channel um so I was, I was really happy to get an api working in my chat bot and be able to leverage it in roost because i'm going to be using this in a lot of in a lot of workflows going forward um, i've got like an agent retirement process workflow that uh, i'm going to be delivering teams notifications in the same manner so yeah 